Hello. Okay, so first of all, what you guys going to notice here, I think. The door is open. It's just really nice outside and it's freezing in here. Let me go to you guys. Oh. I guess I can... Alright. See, the thing is I have my food and... These are really good. I actually ate through these. Don't care, I mean. I'm gonna have a couple of them. I can get my hands in them. Okay, now that my snack is over, I'm gonna put this on the floor. Um, I guess I can't fix it. It's my aunt's and trying to fix it. Anyway, um, I wanted to show you guys the canvases I have in here, set up, I mean. They all have a different meaning to me. So, all my Favorites. I surrounded myself with my favorite canvases that I've ever done. I guess I can start with taking my super off apparently. This one right here. This is actually the first, I guess, cool canvas that I ever made. A canvas that I made where I wasn't really thinking about anything. I was just kind of painting and thinking, oh yeah, these are pretty colors. Oh wait, no, there's a rainbow. Okay. Um, this was the first woo, part of a series that I did. Um, Old Dead Eyes. Actually, um, on Instagram and I think I even made a video of his wife. I don't think I did a video of his kids though. The twins, I cannot remember what his wife's name is or what his kids' names are. But they're centered around this. I'm, it's, not, it's not my Instagram, bubberhead93. And this one's kind of obvious. It was the first pop culture one that I did. Um, I thought it was kind of shitty at first, actually. Because when I started out, it was just a hand with the street thing. Uh, I turned it into a Lady Gaga thing. Yeah, that's like a TV. It's Lady Gaga thing. Okay. the first complex one that I did. It's obviously it's an anti-bedroom symbol I have one on my back that was actually inspired by this. It's cute, it's got shiny stuff on it. Um, but it's cute the first and it's <gasps> Oh, but I I knocked something over. The most intricate one. Um, this was the first canvas that I did ever. I did this in a class, actually. That was taught by my family friend, Victoria. It was when I did this that I realized that you didn't have to be perfect for it to be art, as long as there's something about, something you in it, I guess. You gotta make it your own. Put your own spin on it. That makes it you. I guess you could say mine is either. I have two, I guess. Bright colors and black. 
put me on that list too. I think my favorite type of art is um, pop culture abstract. I don't even know if that's a thing. I like, I mean, this is an example right there. That is, um, Septiplier. I think they named it Sammy Tim after Tiny Tim Box and Sam Maplier or whatever. But Sam Septiplier. I don't know if he has a last name. Whatever. Um, but yeah. And then Dan and Phil up there, obviously. P and the big B. <laughs> um, I have these two over here. And then I have two that I did on camera, actually. Hmm. There's a reason why I actually like this one. I didn't even realize why I liked it in the first place. It's kind of one of those, oh! Oh, I'm smarter than I actually thought I was. I did this when, um, during a very hard part of time in my life. I was figuring a lot of stuff out. Not sexually, just in general. Figuring out what it was I wanted to do, figuring out whether or not I wanted to stay in this place, this house, and whether or not I could handle that. And how I was going to deal with that and deal with everything, actually. Why am I off camera? There. Hey, you can see my pretty face. Um, I, it just felt like everything was upside down. Get it because down is up and then up is down. Ironically, up is upside down. <laughs> yes. Okay, and then I didn't realize this until my friend pointed this out. I don't even have to see what this looks like. Do I? I thought it was just because I was inspired to do pink. You can decide for yourself what you think that is. Let me see what we hear. I'm gonna fix this. When I did the first frame over here, I didn't realize it, but it's upside down. The picture itself, I mean. And then of course, my own pilots and then this. Excuse me. And then I've got a few over here, but I don't really want to mess with them. So I'm just going to bring the cameras over here. Um, this is a good book photo. I did all of these canvases. I did this when I started doing music again after I quit for so long. And then there was a point in time where I didn't think I would able, even be able to draw yet because it wasn't in so bad and it's still kind of messed up. I mean, it's about as straight as I am right now. It's like trying to run away from the rest of my hand. Um, let's see. This is obviously the Marvel thing that I did. Um, oh yeah, and that's not really a canvas, but it's still artwork that's been painted. Um, I don't know why I didn't do a dog one, but... Oh, this is the second top I did on top of the top that I did. I'll be back in here just to see dirt. So I guess that's pretty much it. Um, so that's the meanings behind all my canvases that I have in here. Um, I guess I could do this one too. This, I don't think I've already explained it, but this is the first good piece of artwork that I actually did. That 
turned out the way I wanted it to. Okay. So I'm gonna go. I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Just. Bye.